Hi, uh, today we're here to demo some uh, Stone Tech products uh, made by DuPont. We have the Impregnator Pro, uh, Bulletproof, and Enhancer Pro. Uh, Impregnator Pro is a solvent based sealer, uh, Enhancer Pro is a solvent based sealer, and Bulletproof is a water based sealer. All of these will be used uh, on different materials. Uh, here we have granite. Limestone and a polished limestone, and uh, this will show the difference on how the sealers perform. Uh, stone should normally be sealed uh, to prevent any kind of organic stains, uh, such as uh, oil staining or uh, any kind of food product staining or water staining for that matter. Um, at least once a year, and for areas that get a lot of usage, even more often. Um, there's a product that Stone Tech makes called Revitalizer that actually cleans and seals the stone as well. So um, today we're just gonna go through the process of how to seal stone, which is quite simple. You just um, place the material on, uh, soak the material heavily with, with the product, um, let it penetrate for five to 10 minutes, and then wipe it dry. So here we have samples uh, of Impregnator Pro. We sell these online as well. Uh, you can buy cases of samples to provide to your customers uh, at Stone Tech Direct. So we're simply gonna pour this on. And in my case, I use my finger. I would suggest using some sort of uh, protective gloves to uh, soak the material. And uh, that's basically all we're gonna do here is just uh, soak it and make sure that it does not dry on the surface. And we're gonna leave this side um, without the sealer to see the difference. So on the uh, honed limestone, we're gonna darken up the material by using the Enhancer Pro, which is also a solvent-based product. Um, I'm gonna use my fingers, which should not be done obviously, and uh, most people would use a sponge, but we're not putting a great amount of product on right now. As you can see, it's already darkening the material. And we'll let that penetrate for about 10-15 minutes and wipe it dry. Uh, we have a, whole, a polished limestone here that we're going to try the bulletproof on. This is a water-based product. And again, we'll just let it sit for 10, about 10 minutes and wipe it dry. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and we're going to basically uh, bone dry the material with a wiping cloth. So it's been about 24 hours since we sealed the stones and uh, now we're going to apply various organic uh, products and see how they affect the sealed areas. Uh, we have uh, granite here that's been sealed with Impregnator Pro, which is a solvent-based sealer. Doesn't change the material at all. Um, uh, here we have Enhancer Pro, which is a solvent-based enhancer, and this is on a, a, a honed limestone. As you can see, this area it does not have so much color, whereas the area where we apply the Enhancer Pro seems to really bring out the, uh, the natural look of the material. Uh, and finally, this sample is uh, a polished limestone where we used Bulletproof, which is a water-based sealer. And as you can see, there is no difference in the way the material looks. So today we're going to use various organic materials such as vinegar, which is quite damaging to stone, uh, oil, and water. Uh, common products that we use in the kitchen that could often stain materials. So what we'll do is we'll apply a little of each product onto the sealed area. 
and as you can see it's bubbling up like mercury we're in, and we'll apply the same amount on the unsealed portion and see what happens over time we'll do the same thing over here and you can see it's bubbling up like mercury and uh, we'll do the same over here where it's not sealed that's quite a good example same thing over here We'll go ahead and do that with the vinegar or oil as well. We'll make the salad. We'll leave these on for maybe 20 minutes, come back and see if uh, there's any change to the way the material looks. Finally, the vinegar. Well, this is not coming out too well. So it's been about 10-15 uh, minutes and uh, we have water, oil and vinegar on all the materials uh, that's been sitting and penetrating and you can see right away that the uh, non-sealed areas uh, obviously uh, stain very quickly. What we'll do is we'll start dabbing this material off and uh, see how it affects the stone. So I removed all the uh, staining causing materials and you can see that the area is nice and clean. Uh, this was the Impregnator Pro, really protected this stone quite well. If we move on to the uh, honed limestone, uh, you'll notice this was the water stain, oil stain, and vinegar stain. Quite excessive on the side that was not sealed, whereas on this side, the enhanced side, um, there was some penetration of the oil but I believe that that area probably needed this probably needed more than one coat it's a very very porous material uh, if we move on to the polished limestone absolutely no effect whatsoever we had vinegar we had oil and we had water whereas if you look at the unpolished I mean the unsealed side you could see the destruction that the vinegar created the oil created and a water stain as well so as you can see, uh, sealing your material before using it is quite important. Uh, it helps you avoid all kinds of stains. Uh, will allow your material to last a long time without any problems and uh, you'll enjoy it. Um, so we recommend at least once a year for areas that are being used quite often. Uh, there's a product that we also recommend called Revitalizer. Uh, Revitalizer is designed to clean and reseal your material on a regular basis, which can be used daily, weekly, whatever you like. Uh, I use it in my house, it works great. Uh, so it cleans and reseals, so you don't really need to seal every year. Um, obviously some of the materials like limestones need to be sealed more often than the granites because the granites are very dense. Um, and so you can order all of these materials at Stone Tech Direct. Uh, I think we probably have one of the most aggressive pricing strategies in the country and uh, hope to see you uh, order some soon.